শ্রী শরৎ পাওয়ার অনারেবল মিনিস্টার এগ্রিকালচার ফুড প্রসেসিং ইন্ডাস্ট্রিজ ডক্টর চরণ দাস মহান্ত মিনিস্টার অফ স্টেট এগ্রিকালচার অ্যান্ড ফুড প্রসেসিং ইন্ডাস্ট্রিজ শ্রী আশিস বহুগুণা সেক্রেটারি ডিপার্টমেন্ট অফ এগ্রিকালচার অ্যান্ড কোঅপারেশন শ্রী সি বি পালিওয়াল ম্যানেজিং ডাইরেক্টর ন্যাশনাল কোঅপারেটিভ ডেভেলপমেন্ট কোঅপারেশন লেডিজ অ্যান্ড জেন্টলম্যান অ্যাওয়ার্ডিজ ভেরি গুড মর্নিং টু অল অফ ইউ ইট গিভস মি গ্রেট প্লেজার টু প্রেজেন্ট ন্যাশনাল কোঅপারেটিভ ডেভেলপমেন্ট কর্পোরেশন বাইনিয়াল কোঅপারেটিভ এক্সেলেন্স অ্যাওয়ার্ডস টু টু দি কোঅপারেটিভ সোসাইটিস ইন দ্য ইন্টারন্যাশনাল ইয়ার অফ কোঅপারেশন At the initial stage, I would like to congratulate all the award winners whose services have been recognized as they achieved excellence in their respective areas of operation, both at the state level and at the national level. These awards, initiated in 2002, promote the spirit of cooperation amongst the grassroots level cooperatives and recognize their distinct role in socio-economic development. I note that this year, the NCDC has instituted three new national level awards for cooperative excellence that is appropriate. I congratulate the societies selected for NCDC Biennial Awards for Cooperative Excellence. I am sure that these awards would inspire other cooperative societies in the country in instilling a new sense of hope and bringing renewed vitality and vibrancy in these cooperatives enabling them to perform even better in the days ahead. History of cooperative movement in India is more than a hundred years old. Even before formation of formal cooperative structures came into being, the practice of cooperation and cooperative activities were prevalent in Indian villages. Village communities collectively created common assets like village tanks or village forests, pooled seeds and shared their collective harvest. It was in the later part of the 19th century that agricultural conditions combined with the absence of the institutional financing arrangements led to the deep indebtedness of Indian farmers. In response to these various government initiatives were taken, including the Cooperative Credit Societies Act of 1904. But it was in October 1946 that history was made in the cooperative movement when two primary village milk producer societies were registered. This was followed by the registration the same year of the Khera District Cooperative Milk Producers Union known as Amul. After India attained independence in 1947, Cooperative development received due recognition and cooperatives were given a central role in the five-year plans formulated by the Planning Commission of India, particularly for the transformation of the rural economy. Ladies and gentlemen, 
cooperatives in our country are pivotal institutions for bringing socio-economic development for inclusive growth in the rural areas. Cooperative movement helped our founding fathers who gave it a pride place in the process of the economic development of the country. Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru once observed India vibrant with the cooperative movement to make it, broadly speaking, the basic activity of India in every village as well as elsewhere. And finally, indeed to make the cooperative approach the common thinking of India. Therefore, the whole future of India really depend on the success of this approach of ours to these vast multitudes of hundreds of millions of people. He visualized an India, an ideal village which would have a panchayat, a cooperative and a school. Today, with the network of six lakh cooperative societies and a membership base of more than 24 crores, the Indian cooperative movement has proved to be an effective economic instrument for ensuring growth with equity and inclusiveness. Cooperatives in India have made a visible and significant contribution to the overall economic growth of our economy. This is especially so in the sectors of agricultural credit, sugar, dairy, textile, fisheries, distribution of fertilizers and agricultural inputs, storage and marketing. They have ensured the accrual of a fair share of the benefits of development and growth to our small and marginal farmers. Ladies and gentlemen, recognizing the advantage and its importance World over, United Nations declared 2012 as the International Year of Cooperatives to increase public awareness about cooperatives and their contributions to socio-economic development and the achievement of the Millennium Development Goals and also to promote the formation and growth of cooperatives. This year is also coinciding with the Golden Jubilee Year of NCDC and therefore this award function assumes special significance for the growth of cooperatives during these 50 illustrious years. NCDC, basically a financing institution for providing financial assistance exclusively to the cooperatives, achieved new milestones and undertook many initiatives with the ultimate goal of developing the rural economy and removing the incidence of backwardness from the rural hinterland in the country. I congratulate NCDC and I wish them Godspeed and <coughs> so that they can move ahead. The cooperatives in our country face many challenges and problems. Their performance across sectors, activities and regions is variable. They need to reorient themselves by improving their efficiency and have to develop themselves professionally to meet the requirements of their core, core clientele, farmers, growers, artisans, producers and women. However, the cooperatives are perhaps still the best way of reaching out into the vast hinterland of this country where the poor and marginalized sections reside. Recently, the government has taken a big initiative thanks to the initiative of Sri Sharad Pawarji <coughs> for the cooperatives 
by enacting the 97th constitutional amendment thereby creating an enabling environment for the development of the cooperatives this would enable democratic autonomous and professional functioning of the cooperatives by this amendment the right to form cooperative society has now become a fundamental right the act has paved the way for development of a stronger cooperative movement to take this initiative further to the grassroots levels <coughs> respective state governments also need to create enabling environment by amending the state laws as and when it is necessary in conclusion i once again congratulate all the award winners i compliment sri sharad pawar ji union minister of agriculture and food processing industries and his ministries for their continuous efforts for sustained economic development of our country throughout the cooperatives i would like to conclude my observations by quoting a shloka from rigved which epitomizes all the ideals of cooperative समानोहो अकूतिहि समाना हृदयानिवो समानुमस्तु बो मनः यथा ओ शु सहासति इट मींस मे वी हैव कॉमन पर्पस मे आवर हार्ट्स बी इन यूनिशन मे वी ऑल बी ऑफ द सेम माइंड सो दैट we can do our work efficiently and well thank you ladies and gentlemen jai hind